connection. For our final segment of this October episode, we are going to be talking about the new exhibit that was just unveiled at the Summit County Commons in the Art Forum. And here to tell us all about it are Leslie Walker, from who is the Art Forum Program Assistant. Welcome, Leslie. Thank you. Welcome. And Jessica Reem, a local artist who is featured in the exhibit. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you. All right, Leslie, uh, tell us, give us a quick overview of what the Art Forum is. The Art Forum basically oversees all of the public art in Summit County that is county owned. Specifically, we oversee the space outside of the Frisco Library. We call that space the Art Forum, as well as our group. We do three four month long themed shows a year, and Transitions is our show this fall, which is very appropriate considering the beautiful fall leaves right now and Absolutely. there's just a lot of changes going on in people's lives so right yeah pretty excited kids headed back show. to school and yes people starting winter jobs and all that kind of thing so exactly um great so what was the inspiration behind the transition theme we have a lovely committee of committed people we're always looking for more um, and we put our heads together and we come up with our shows the themes of our shows about a year in advance okay and um, we like to have a theme that is broad enough that a lot of people can find something a piece of art that will fit okay so transitions changes uh, a lot of people can figure out something with that. Um, we do have some fall themes, quite a few fall themes actually, and then we have Jessica's really awesome artwork as well, which is transitional in her life as well as the, the subject matter. Um, and then we have some great community partners as well. The Conflict Resolution Group, who was just on with Karen and Julie, um, are part of this as well. We have the panels in our space and the basically the brainchild that figured out the conflict resolution month and panels presented at our opening late September. Great. So that was really nice as well. And then the Building Hope Group is also on dis also has information on display. So that's very transitional in nature as well. We like our art shows to not just be about art, but to educate and inform the public as well. Great. Uh, so Jessica, talk to us about your pieces in this exhibit and how they kind of speak to that theme of transition. Certainly. Um, so these pieces actually from my, from my work itself, they're a transition piece. So I've started to change over um, from my pieces I've been working on previously where it's more black and white, a um, little more abstract, non-objectional kind of work, um, and kind of transitioning back to way I worked in college, a little bit more, more on panel, more with found objects, assemblage work. Um, and then the pieces themselves, they're very colorful, which is very different from what I'm used to working with. So it's been a little bit of a transition for me in that, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> getting used to looking at a palette with rainbow of colors versus just black, white, and gray. Um, but they're also, I got really, I've been really fascinated with the sunrises and sunsets here. I've been just absolutely captivated by them. Um, and so recently I've been, been gun collecting photos by taking photos as I'm walking around or on my drive home, you know, pulling off and taking photos of um, the sunsets and the views over the mountains. And I'm a really early bird kind of person, so I'm up before the sunrise most mornings. And Good so, for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish I, always, I had that. I always say if I can get as much work done between 4 and 8 a.m. as the rest of the day, I would be killing it but um <laughs> so you know taking photos when i take my dog out in the morning of the sunrises and um began to incorporate those into kind of like the, they're the base of the pieces and then i found these amazing really interesting railroad ties when i was on a trip down to slido with my boyfriend and um, as we were walking down by the river i found tons and tons of them and there's always been something that's interested me about found objects they're just a story that they could tell if they could speak and you know the different experiences or the things they've seen or specifically for these railroad ties um, you know if they could tell a story about the different railroad cars that go over them and what was being carried or transported in them so there's kind of something that's very fascinating to me about those um, which is why i kind of wanted to incorporate them with this interesting um, the interesting colors of the sunrises and the sunsets that you see um, so that's kind of and it's a new, pe new body of work for me, so I'm still kind of figuring out what exactly it is that I'm trying to say through the work. Um, I know it's definitely this combination of 
like trying to strive for something, but something's blocking you and something's getting in the way or something's keeping you tied down. So that's kind of the symbolism and the mix between the sunrise and sunsets and these heavy old objects. Great. Uh, so Leslie, tell us about uh, a few other artists who have uh, work in the exhibit. We like to bring new artists in, like Jessica, as well as keep some of the artists we've had for a while. Again, it's, it's been really funny, this whole show. Everything has been transitional, transition, transition. <laughs> I, I, we just can't speak without saying the word transition, even though it's the theme as well. So uh, Jeremy Green is on display as well. He is uh, traditionally an oil painter. He moved into wire sculpting, and that's been kind of interesting as well, whenever you see his pieces up high. And recently, he has transitioned into um, like basically wire and wood burnt sculptures. Okay. And it's a lot more interesting whenever you look at it than cool. just when I talk about it. So Jeremy <laughs> is with us again, which is great. Uh, we have Quirky Woodring, who actually, his work is on display right in the Building Hope exhibit because his story very much um, mirrors what Building Hope is trying to do. He, um, he has suffered from bipolar and, uh, and depression. And he's basically a survivor of it. So what he displays is right with Building Hope and it tells the same story. Building Hope wants to help people who are struggling and Corky has survived that. Mm -hmm. So our artists fit the theme and their work fits the theme. Um, we also have Adolf Zimmerman who has been with us before. He has um, oil paintings on display. Bill Linfield who captures amazing wildlife photography and um, just the, our natural world. He's on display again as well. And I know I'm going to miss somebody. Uh, Rocket Nelson, Diana Rocket Nelson, uh, has some really cool fabric pieces. Um, so I would just encourage everybody to, to just check it out whenever they're going through the Frisco, outside of the Frisco Library. It's, it's worth the extra, you know, 15 to 20 minutes at least that you take whenever you stop there. Right, and I just find it so inspiring and impressive to see all the talent that we have here in our, right in our community. I mean, it's really amazing, I think we, the goal when I started with the Art Forum, which was formerly the Summit County Art Exhibit Committee, um, was to have 95% local artists and the rest Colorado artists. And in our last few shows, we've had 100% local artists, Summit County artists. And um, one of the things that is really telling to me is when I'm changing over a show and the county employees stop me and they say, we didn't realize what this space meant and what this art meant until everything was off of the walls. So we love what you guys do. And the art that is put up there really changes lives and it inspires. Great. Uh, so Leslie, if, if people want to learn more about the work the Art Forum does and maybe um, take a peek online before they go visit the exhibit in person, how do they go about doing that? The best way to do that is to go to Summit County CO dot gov slash the art forum um, that's the quickest and easiest way to get there or just go to summitcountyco.gov and search for us on the website on the county website and we're always looking for great people to volunteer on the committee and to actually display so i can tell you two of our next shows our january show will be um, ice and snow i believe and the next show then in the summer will be up and down so start to think about that artists and art lovers and if you have anything get in touch with me because i'd love to show it fantastic well jessica and leslie thanks so much for coming into the studio today thank you thank you and thanks to those of you who have joined us uh, at home for another episode of county connection we will look forward to seeing you next month